Hey guys, my name is Mike Barker and in this class I'm going to teach you some of the basics in AutoCAD to get you up and running 3D modeling as quickly as possible. Throughout this course there's three main things I'm going to cover. How to set up your user interface for optimal productivity and ease of use. How to accurately create 2D drawings based on a 3D object. And how to take those 2D drawings and turn them into a 3D model inside of AutoCAD. I'm an industrial designer with over 16 years of experience in the field. I'm a design manager at an engineering firm and I run a team of mechanical, structural, and electrical designers and drafters. I've modeled just about everything you can think of and I've done more with AutoCAD Direct Modeling than most other people would think possible. This class will be a great first step for beginners. We're going to take an actual 3D object, analyze it, sketch it out on paper, and extract dimensions from that object in order to use those in 2D AutoCAD. The project for this class is going to be simple. It looks simple. We're going to 3D model this dice. To start off, we're going to take the dice and we're going to draw it in 2D on paper with a pencil or pen. We're going to use a tape measure or ruler to extract the dimensions from this dice. We're going to detail out all the little pips on the dice, the size of the dice, the filleted edges and everything so we know what we need to do in AutoCAD when we get there. Once we bring it into AutoCAD, we're going to 2D draft this dice all six sides and then we're from those 2d drawings we're going to turn them into a 3d model in order to keep this class short and to the point i really just want to cover the basics of what you need to know to 3d model this seemed like a fine object to start with the assignment would be to model this dice follow along with me and then upload the final image at the end of the project this is a skill set you're going to nurture throughout your career the better you get at this, the more valuable you'll be to your employers as you progress through your career as a designer or engineer. The more practice you have at this, the more accurate you'll be able to 3D model objects in order to create 2D drawings for manufacturing. By the end of this course, you should be well on your way to picking up and 3D modeling any of the objects you find yourself surrounded by as you begin your journey 3D modeling for practical purposes.